Hey everybody, it's Gadifin here. Hello. We're in Baldur's Gate 3 and we are currently in the Gauntlet of Shar and we're standing right outside the door into the third trial, which I is the Faith Leap or the Leap Faith trial. Uh, I, I think it's the most difficult one of the first three and uh, I've done this before and it's been tough. I've seen deaths, etc, etc. However, we're going to give it a shot and I, I think we can get through this with hope without hopefully um, you know seeing anybody die let's bring up the interface here we go and we'll uh, we'll have a read of this of the plaque her most sacred path all right let's have a let's have a go now I know that this is intended to test uh, you know the acolytes or the followers of faith now, one of the things you want to know, this is going to be obviously full of spoilers. So the first thing you want to identify when you come in is this. Recognize this map. If you were standing here, Shar, the idol of the, the altar, is there. She would, right where my mouse is, geographically speaking, the altar is right there. So these paths, all the way up, are going to the far end where you need to get to to get the umbral gem and this whole thing is full of death now one of the things I want to point out to people that you might not others may not have seen what you want a light source on you definitely want to have a light source on now let me see if uh, I don't know if Languin still has this on her sword but we're on herself but we're gonna put it on right Obviously, light where it's not supposed to be. So, this interesting parallel between the two sisters, Shar and Selun, uh, or Selene, I, I can never remember, um, light and dark, where in this scenario, the light will conquer the dark. I'm going to de demonstrate, I'm going to show you why. Because I'm going to bring Langdon down here. Now, uh oh, I got to, I got to remove all of the, uh, I want to disengage these guys I don't want to I don't want to move in as a group right now obviously small oversight on my part but in any case that's that's the map now if you're standing here you can actually see out there you can see the pathway you can see it underneath the water and you need to be able to hit that all the way up here now, if we go, let's see. Um, hmm. My face protects We me. also want her to be active. Greetings. That's not what was intended. Okay, let's get out of that. That's not what we wanted to do. Come on. What's next? I wanted her to cast that. Assume nothing. But she's not gonna know. Oh. Okay. Live and learn. Apparently this isn't Whatever comes she doesn't want to cast that on anybody but herself. And why oh I see. See if it'll go there. Bingo. Look at that. Now this path is different than the last one. Because in the last one I did, the pathway, which you can now obviously see, extended all the way to this drop off here. Now why it's not in this particular instance following this particular diagram I don't know I wonder if that's a bug because it should be now let's change our attack plan here because not you, you. never a dull moment come on my from here, How we're going to misty step as far as we can. And we may have to do it two or three times to get there. So, let's see. Scroll of the speak dead. Let's go. No, 
no, no, no. Fly. Yeah, we may want those as well. Let's put it right there. Misty step. There. I've got two. We don't need that. Let's move them. Okay. We've got Misty step. We've got fly. Who else has got Misty step? There's a scroll of fly. Let's make it four. No. No. There's another scroll of fly. We're not going to need nearly all of these. However, we've got them on board. Misty step. Another scroll of fly. We're not going to need that. How many we got? Two. <laughs> okay, maybe a scroll of fly to begin with. Okay, what happened? We lost the path. So what happened? Okay, let's get this lit up. Let's see what happens here. Another bowl bearing the stains of an ancient blood offering. Another trial. Allow me, please. Oh, number three. This is number three. I'm not convinced that this is what I should be letting her do because I think this is going to be a source of real trouble. Ouch. Obviously, it's a goddess who requires a blood sacrifice. You can see it, kind of. There. Right? You can see it. Alright. I wonder if she can cast another one of those. But further out, I don't think so. I don't think she can. She can. But can she cast it here without going out there? Okay. You see, there's, again, it's way out there. Why? Why is there nothing here? All right. And these things have stayed interesting. I don't want to have any deaths on this. Let's see if she can fly to here. Let's see if that's going to be possible. Fly. It looks like it'll be possible. Let's try. This could be a very short video, folks. Now can't see. Oh, that's great. Now cannot see the path. Okay, so we're going to have to do it this way. Now, can we misty step or fly? Let's do it again. Let's try. Okay, we're going to fly. Can we fly to there? No, but we can fly to there. Okay, now we're blinded. Okay, we're going to do this very, very quickly. We need to do this quickly. Okay, now can we fly to there? Can we do it? Can we grab, grab it, grab it? Bingo! Bingo, guys. There you go. Acolyte in her footsteps. Shadow Heart is inspired. One in, uh, we got 95 experience. Da, da, da. 
to okay so new journal entries obviously she seems to think or they seem to think that Shadowheart completed that given that it was her blood that was offered that's an interesting thing to consider right okay let's check the rest of the pots who knows you never know we talk yeah we'll take all the syllables all right and let's let's get back boom so there you go guys that is how you can beat or rather finish this particular trial i'm gadif and karadek if you've watched this video and you you found it entertaining or even maybe a little bit helpful thanks for watching uh, blessings to you all please do to come back hit the like button and maybe subscribe that's that's very very much appreciated bye bye for now ciao